Hello and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says from the data given below state which group is more variable A or B. So this is the table given to us in the first row we have marks intervals are 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and so on till 70 to 80. In the second row we have the data for group A. In the third row we have the data for group B. So what we do in this question is first of all we find the variance for group A then we find out the variance for group B and then we compare both of them. So let us start with the solution to this question. We make a table like this first of all for the group A. Now let us see how to find the variance. Step 1 is obtain the midpoint of each given class interval that is xi xi is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 then choose a convenient number a usually the middle or nearly middle of xi is which we call as assumed mean that is a denotes the assumed mean step 2 is find yi that is equal to xi minus a divided by h where h is the difference between any two consecutive xi's and step 3 is finally finding out the variance that is sigma square is equal to h square divided by submission f5 where i goes from 1 to n the whole square multiplied by submission f5 i goes from 1 to n into submission i goes from 1 to n f5 yi square minus submission f5 yi where i goes from 1 to n the whole square. So this is the formula of variance. Now this is how we find out the variance first of all for group A then for group B and then we compare both of them. So in order to find out the variance of group A, first thing that we have to do is we obtain the midpoint of each given class interval that is xi that is equal to upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. So x1 will be now upper limit is 20 lower limit is 10. So we will have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 that is equal to 15. Similarly, we find out x2 that will be 30 plus 20 divided by 2 and that is equal to 25. And similarly, we find out x3, x4, x5, x6 and x7. So, let us write down the x size in the second column. For this class interval, it is 15. For this, it is 25, 35, 45, 55. 65 and 75. Now we write down the FIs. For group A, the FIs were 9, 17, 32 and so on. For the groups 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and so on respectively. So we just write down here FIs that are 9, 17, 32, 33, 40, 45, 55, 10 and 9. Now we sum up FIs. And that comes out to be 150. Now we choose a convenient number capital A usually the middle or nearly middle of x size. This is the assumed mean. So A that is assumed mean let it be 45. And we have seen that H is the difference between any two consecutive x size, so we have 25 minus 15 is equal to 25, 35 minus 25 is equal to 45 minus 35 and so on is equal to 10. So h is 10. Now the step 2 was to find yi. We know that yi is equal to xi minus assumed mean divided by h. So, yi is xi minus assumed mean divided by h. So, for the first interval, we will have 15 minus 45 divided by 10 is minus 3. Similarly, for the second interval, yi will be 25 minus 45 divided by 10 and that is minus 2. For this, it is minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So these are yi's for different intervals. 
Now we calculate the product of Fi and Yi. We see that Yi Fi will be 9 into minus 3 is minus 27. So this is minus 27. 7 into minus 2 is minus 34. 32 into minus 1 is minus 32. 33 into 0 is 0. Here we will have 40. 10 into 2 is 20. And 9 into 3 is 27. Now we add up the yi fi. So the sum of all the yi fi's is minus 6. Now we calculate yi square. So for 10 to 20 this interval, this will be 9. Then we have 4. 1, 0, 1, 4 and 9. So these are the yi squares. Now we calculate fi yi square. So we simply multiply this with this. And here we will have 81, 68, 32, 0, 40, 40 and 81. These are fi yi squares for these respective intervals. And fi yi square, they sum up to 342. Now we can easily find out the variance that is h square. h in this case is 10. We have the sum of fi's. We have sum of fi yi square. We have sum of fi yi. So we simply put in the values here and we get the variance for group A. So this is the formula for the variance. Now we simply put in the values here. Since h was equal to 10, so h square would be 100 divided by, now summation of fi's was 150. So 100 divided by 150, the whole square, multiplied by, again submission fi was 150, multiplied by submission of fi yi square. Submission of fi yi square is 342. So this gets multiplied by 342 minus submission of fi yi is minus 6. So here we have minus, minus 6 the whole square. This can be further written as 100 divided by 22500 multiplied by 150 into 342 is 51300 minus Square of minus 6 is 36. This can be written as 100 divided by 225 multiplied by 100 into, this is 51264. 100 gets cancelled with 100. We have 51264 divided by 225 and that gives us 227.84. Since Sigma square is equal to 227.84. Therefore, Sigma will be square root of 227.84. That is approximately equal to 15.09. Now, similarly, we have to find out the variance for group B. So now, just like we calculated Xi's for the group B, group A, we find out Xi's for the group B. That will be 10 plus 20 divided by 2 is 15, 20 plus 30 divided by 2 is 25 and so on. 70 plus 80 divided by 2 is 75. Now let us write down the Fi's, that is frequencies for the group B. And that is given to us in the question as 10... 20, 30, 25, 43, 15, and 7. Now we find out the summation of Fi's, that is 150. Now we have to find out Yi. We see that Yi is equal to Xi minus assumed mean divided by H. In this case, we take assumed mean to be equal to 45. And we can see that H is equal to 25 minus 15 is equal to 35 minus 25 
and so on we have 10. So now let us calculate yi for the class interval 10 to 20 yi will be 15 minus 45 divided by 10 and that is minus 3. For next we have minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3. Now we calculate yi fi by multiplying this by this. Here we will have minus 30, minus 40, minus 30, 0, 43 ones are 43, 15 twos are 30, 7 threes are 21. Now the next thing that we find is yi square. Here we will have 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, 9. Now we find out fi yi square. fi yi square will be fi multiplied by yi square that is 10 into 9 is 90, 20 into 4 is 80, 30 into 1 is 30, 25 into 0 is 0, 43 into 1 is 43, 15 into 4 is 16 and 7 into 9 is 63. Now we sum up yi fi's and fi yi square. We see that this sums up to 366 and this sums up to minus 6. Now we know that variance can be found out by this formula. So let us write this formula here. We have so this is the formula for finding out the variance. Now we have h is equal to 10. So h square will be 100. Now submission of f5 is 150. So 100 divided by 150 the whole square. Multiplied by submission of f5 is 150. Multiplied by submission of f5 yi square is 366. So 150 multiplied by 366 minus summations of f5 yi that is minus 6 the whole square. This is equal to 100 divided by 225 into 100. Now 150 into 366 54900 minus square of minus 6 is 36. We see that 100 gets cancelled with 100. We have 1 divided by 225 multiplied by 54864. And this gives us 243.84. Now if sigma square is equal to 243.84, then... Sigma will be equal to square root of 243.84 and that is equal to 15.615. This is approximately equal to 15.615. Now we see that to compare the variability We have to calculate their coefficients of variation. So first of all we calculate the coefficient of variation for group A. For group A we see that we see that the coefficient of variation is equal to sigma divided by mean in 200 where sigma is the standard deviation and this is the mean of the distribution multiplied by 100. Now we have seen that sigma for group A was 15.09 mean was here we have 45 multiplied by 100 and this entire thing comes out to be 33.53 approximately. So coefficient of variation for group A is 33.53.
Now we calculate this for group B. For group B, the coefficient of variation would be again standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100. That is equal to 15.61 divided by mean was same 45 multiplied by 100. And that comes out to be equal to 34.68 that is same as 34.7. So we see that coefficient of variation for group A is this and for group B is this. So we can clearly see that coefficient of variation in group B is greater than coefficient of variation in group A. Therefore, group B is more variable than group A. So, our answer to this question is B. I hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Have a good day.